What is going on guys and girls, my name is Billy and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, this is going to be kind of a discussion type video and we will be talking about the one, the only, Layla Hassan, our new modern day protagonist for the future of Assassin's Creed. Now, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, click the like button down below and of course remember to subscribe for some more Assassin's Creed content. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So Layla Hassan was born in 1984 and she is a member of the Assassin Brotherhood and former employee of Abstergo Industries. Now she was forced to leave Abstergo following a Templar attempt on her life and then she was offered a position with the Assassins by their leader none other than William Miles, Desmond Miles' father. Though initially reluctant she eventually joined the Assassins and became an important member of the Brotherhood taking control of her own cell within a year. In 2018 her exploration of the memories of the Greek mercenary Cassandra led her to the first ancient civilization complex of Atlantis where she received the staff of Hermes from Cassandra. As we know, Cassandra dusted away just like Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War. Rest in peace, Spider-Man. Now with the staff in hand, Layla made contact with the Isu Aletheia, whose consciousness resided within the staff and took on the title of Heir of Memory. Now one thing that has been surrounded Layla is the mystery of her origin and her story and why she joined the Assassins and even Abstergo in the beginning. Well, if you go through all of the emails and all of the background stuff whilst you free roaming as Layla in the modern day, you will find out that she was actually born in Cairo to parents Ashraf and Siniab Hassan. Obviously Ashraf being an easter egg for Ashraf Ismail, the guy who created Assassin's Creed Origins and came up with the story and stuff. Obviously that's a bad thing to talk about now because of all the shits going on in Ubisoft, but we're not gonna linger on that. But then Layla and her family emigrated to the United States in 1986 when she was just two years old before finally settling in Queens, New York. She actually had two younger brothers, Rami and Caden, and she was granted citizenship through a process known as naturalization. Now, whilst at school, Layla remained uncommitted to her studies and actually found herself thriving in the campus's highly politicized atmosphere, feuding with the school's administration, and it was during this time she met Sophia Ricken, who was part of a delegation of Abstergo, touring the campus with the company's Young Innovators recruitment program. Now, Sophia was intrigued by Layla's interest in technology and, as such, offered her a job with Abstergo, where she could work her way up to the Animus Lab. In 2006, Layla dropped out of the university and joined Abstergo, working first in the IND division of Abstergo Fitness and later in the research and development division. Over the years, Abstergo used several of her ideas to make adjustments to the anime, though she was never made aware of the company's Templar affiliations because that would definitely not go down well. Although Layla had worked for Abstergo for 11 years, meaning she was there when Desmond was, the one thing she wanted more than anything else was a promotion to work on the Animus project. However, she was denied this offer due to her numerous transgressions against Abstergo protocol. Now for a few years after that, Layla continued her work at Abstergo while also secretly modding her animus to be able to process DNA of those not related to her and also excessively damaged DNA. She had planned to present her new idea to Sophia and finally be part of the animus team. However, due to the assassin attack on the Abstergo Foundation Rehabilitation Center in October 2016, all contact with Sophia stopped. Now obviously when we played as Desmond in 2012, there was an attack on the Abstergo facility, but then there was also an attack on Abstergo facility within the Assassin's Creed, God, I'm going to say Assassin's Creed a lot, Assassin's Creed film, which came out in 2016. Is that what we're talking about here? Was Layla there for that time? Maybe, maybe not. Now in 2017, as part of a historical tactical team, Layla and her co-worker and best friend, Dina Geary, were assigned by Simon Hathaway to find and retrieve an important historical artifact from the Qatar Depression in Egypt. Now during this expedition, Layla found the mummies of the ancient assassins Bayek and Aya. Without informing her superiors, she used her own portable animus to relive their memories from around the year 48 BCE, and this was all in order to prove her worth on the animus project. Layla's refusal to check in with Abstergo led to the company deploying a Sigma team to find her and Dina. While Dina was assaulted in a hotel, Layla made use of her skills she obtained through the bleeding effect to dispatch her attackers. And as we know, she was later found by William Miles, mentor of the assassins, after he had caught wind of her situation. He offered her her position with the Brotherhood and faced with no other option, Layla agreed to work with him but refused to actually join as a member. Now by the end of 2017, she had not only become a member of the Assassins but befriended several members including Charlotte de la Cruz, Aaron Shute Cunningham and Harlan Cunningham and had become a leader of her own Assassin cell. Now as part of her first Assassin mission, she and Kiyoshi Takuawa went on a mission to Quebec. They searched the Cathedral Balistia of Notre Dame de Quebec for a relic which had belonged to the Recollects. Things went sideways when they 
confronted by Abstergo, but Kiyoshi's past with the Yakuza helped him save Layla from danger. Now going more into DLC and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Layla, while searching for her ICU artifacts, discovered the lost history of Herodotos, the earliest known Greek historian. Now from that work, she learned of the Spartan mercenary Cassandra, who wielded an icy weapon, which was of course the Spear of Leonidas. Layla went out to find this, and she was able to relive Cassandra's memories with the help of another ex-Abstego employee, Dr. Victoria Bibu, if that's how you say it. Now, after reliving Cassandra's memory and discovering Atlantis for the first time, Layla and her crew sailed from London to the coast of Santorini aboard the Altair II, which was the ship the assassins were travelling along throughout all of the time since Desmond died up until now. Now, she was hoping to find the underwater secret entrance into the ancient city, and after having find it, she further explored Atlantis, looking for a way to open it. Not finding anything then, she decided to further relive Cassandra's memories and to find out, hopefully, how to relive and open the city. Now, once she had the knowledge of how to open the city, she was presented with Cassandra herself, who was kept alive by the staff of Hermes. Cassandra warned that as the Templars and Assassins represent order, chaos, either side prevailing over the other would result in the world's doom. Declaring Leia the prophesied one who would bring balance, Cassandra passed the staff on to Layla and immediately lost her immortality and died. Layla then returned to the Animus to synchronise with the remainders of Cassandra's memories. Now, whilst exploring Cassandra's memories, Layla encountered a hologram of the Isu Aletheia. She was then guided by Cassandra to hold on to the staff until she could hand it over to Layla, whom Aletheia referred to as the Heir of Memory. Upon exiting the Animus, Layla heard Aletheia's voice issues from the staff, instructing her to identify the three symbols to unlock the Great Seal of Atlantis. Layla, with assistance from the Altair II, later located the symbols in the tombs Agamemnon, Orion, and Eteocles. All the while, Bibbo expressed concern for Layla's well-being, while Aletheia warned that someone called the Interloper sought to stop her. Realising that Cassandra's associate Dias knew the meaning of these symbols, Cassandra again relived the memories of her brother Deimos, who was responsible for the sculptor's murder. Now, despite the dangerous effects on her mind, at which Victoria was forced to remotely pull her out. After hearing from Aletheia that the Interloper was male, Layla soon lost contact with the Altair too, as it was attacked by Sigma Team, which is the Templar Order. Uncertain of her team status, Layla went to unlock this seal, realising that the three words Fidias had repeated when Alexos insulted him were the past. Subsequently, she was relieved to hear that her team had fought off the Sigma Team. Furthermore, Elena Ryan claimed that someone was listening in on their communication, so the Altair 2 was forced to go dark until it was safe to open up Atlantis. Now, having successfully unlocked Atlantis, Layla entered the room, where she was greeted by Aletheia and joined by Victoria, who was also concerned about her friend's well-being. Aletheia tasked Cassandra to enter simulations of realms created by her in order to master the staff. This was so that Layla would not fall to the staff's influence and corruption. As Layla continued to relive Cassandra's memories, while the latter explored the simulations, Layla's behaviour became increasingly aggressive, which caused Victoria to forcefully force Layla out of the Animus, citing the bleeding effect to be affecting her. This culminated in Layla accidentally killing Victoria with the staff. Horrified at what she had done, Layla was approached by Aletheia, who proclaimed that the Layla might not be the true heir of memories after all, and that she needed time to reflect. Layla refuted Aletheia's statement, blaming the staff for her actions, though Aletheia reminded her that she dictated who the heir was, and not Layla. Layla then later agreed to leave and take some time to reflect, requesting Aletheia to look after Victoria until she returned. Layla subsequently returned to the chamber, wishing to finish the trials despite Aletheia's apprehension. Nevertheless, Layla was able to convince the Isu being to let her back in, and after reliving Cassandra's memories of her trials pleasion, Layla was quickly woken up by Aletheia, who informed her that the interloper revealed to be Otso Berg had arrived. Layla was briefed by the Templar of the things that had transpired since her team's discovery of Herodotos lost memories. As Layla tried to negotiate with Berg by using the staff to help his daughter Elena, Otso Berg interrupted and threatened her to hand over the staff. Two engaged in a fight which saw Layla defeating Berg with the staff somehow, and she then proceeded to impale Berg's back with the staff, rendering him immobile. As Berg passed out from his injuries, Layla approached Victoria's body, taking the earphones off of her. In doing so, Layla regained communications with Elena and her team, informing her of what had just transpired and requested the team to pick her up from the vault. Guys and girls, that has been the history of Layla Hassan and what we know so far. My theory for the future is that Layla will learn how to control the staff, find other pieces of Eden, and hopefully, hopefully bring balance to the world of Assassin's Creed. Now, she does go on to say that Layla may not be the heir, but who do we know has had, you know, mythological beings come to them in time of need to get them to do something major to save the world? Oh yeah, that would be Desmond Miles. And what do we know now? Desmond Miles has a kid and Abstergo have been using that kid for their own means. So perhaps maybe the heir 
of memories is Desmond Miles' son. Why? Because he will have all of the memories every single assassin has had pretty much. He will have the link to the ISU which they need. So guys and girls that's been it for this video. I know it's a long one but this has been the history of Leila Hassan. I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to click the like button down below if you have and subscribe for some more Assassin's Creed content. Hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video.